because uh, as we look at terror's incidents around the world, the method used by terrorists has been evolving in order to inflict maximum damage and strike fear into the hearts of target communities. Even though there have been no attacks in Singapore so far, there is no guarantee that such incidents will not happen here. We must be prepared and equipped, both at the national level, where our security agency had oversight, and at the individual level. We must cooperate and work together to protect our homeland. In this respect, re refraining from, communications, from communicating at the sites of terror attacks is one of the ways individuals can cooperate with, with and assist our security forces. Their actions, or rather the lack of, could potentially save the life of the unfor unfortunate ones caught in the event and those of the men and women who risk their own to rescue them. However, there are some concerns over the ban on the transmission of photos, video, text and audio messages. I think it's worth our time to examine more thoroughly the implications of this ban. Part of the anxiety expressed so far stems from the novelty of the proposal, which is probably unprecedented. I understand that Singapore is among the first in the world to introduce such legislations. I agree with the intent as aimed to protect everyone and to empower a security agency to mount an effective response should we ever need it one day. We should draw lessons from the 1972 Munich Olympic incident, the 2008 Mumbai terrorist attack and the 2015 Paris terrorist attack. The efforts of the security forces in all three incidents were severely compromised by television broadcasts. Today, rescuers have more than TV crews to worry about. We are smartphone in hand. Anyone can be a broadcaster, streaming real-time updates, which can potentially provide valuable information to perpetrators and give them a strategic advantage. This is what the bill clearly seeks to prevent. What the ministry could have communicated better and much more strongly is that the bills are not seek to prevent hostages or witnesses at the site <coughs> from communicating with the authorities, especially information about the attackers and their operations. As part of our SG Secure campaign, our home team has been educating Singaporeans about what to do in the events of an attack. Run, hide, tell. We tell Singaporeans to move away from dangers, stay out of sight, switch their phones to silent mode and provide information to the police by calling or SMS or using the SG Secure app. These advisories have not changed. However, I hope the Ministry will consider allowing communications via other additional platforms in the event that these official channels become overloaded or malfunction. On the other hand, in case the terrorists of their sympathizers manage to transmit images or text in the midst of the mayhem, I hope we are equipped with the technology and know-how to jam the signals and prevent their broadcast. Fine and jail terms are not going to be deterrent for them. Lastly, regarding the concern by civic society groups over the definitions of a serious incident, I would like to caution we should not assume that nothing would happen, even as seemingly small gathering or peaceful protests. The risk of escalation is always there. It's the duty of the police to protect everyone, regardless of language, race, religions, political convictions and beliefs. Hence, to address the possibility of abuse what the communication ban is imposed. I would like to suggest we tap on the use of technology, such as equipping, equipping every Singaporean with a, sorry, with every policeman with a body video recorder. The recorder, the record, could be in review by the by an independent committee, 
and the competitions of the members can be discussed to ensure independence. Speaker Sir in Mandarin, Fanzi Bu Pa Yi Wan, Zi Pa Wan Yi. Mei Ge Guo Ren Bu Ren Diao Yi Jing Qing Xin, Yi Wei Kong Bu Xi Ji Si Jian, Xi Ji Bu Hui Fa Sen Zai Ta Zi Ji Ge Ren De Sen Sang. Ji An Shi Wei, Xi Ran Guo Ren Ye Bu Xi Guo Guo Du Guo Mi Huo Jing Huan, Fanzi 还是要小心，万无一失，全民一心，其利断金。With that, I'd like to conclude my support for the bill. Thank you.